Okay, so it looks like for the industrial and the border, like the, those the mesh. Four. Yes, so should be able to do that. The four block zone, that just means a line of four. Four blocks, of, oh, okay, yeah. The power plants. Anywhere, right? Or not yep. a square? Doesn't, <clears throat> yeah, it just, it's a line. It can't be like a block, actually. Okay. Um, then the block zone of 10 just means we need to make a square of 10 of the purple and blue. Ooh, we have two close pollution tiles so there. So it'd be great if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. That's 12, that's so that's a be lot. Tough. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Nine, we're over there-ish. Um, so let's build towards the, um, the easy ones are here. So yeah. this one we don't really need to do any sort of strategy with. Uh, I'm gonna try and build towards the border. Okay. And then that and way. So we maybe can... if we try to do blue and purple square over here. Sure. Yeah. We can and then try. maybe, I don't. Depending, if we could build blue on this edge, we can build this right. off of this. Oh we yeah. Can double team it. And then the orange can be kind of chilling. Okay. There. Trash zone. Well. Alrighty. You ready? ready? <laughs> Steady. Here we go. Okay. Orange. Uh, orange zone. You set up here, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Down here. Uh, blue. Blue. Oh shoot. Oh, you got a blue. Blue. Put a blue right there, right? Yes, I think please. That's how it works. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, purple, orange, purple, orange, uh, orange, four blocks square, right there. Ah! No, that's okay. That's perfect. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Ooh. Ooh! Yeah! Oh, of course. Now we're going to do like great. Uh, we're already good with that. So red on the border. Oh, yeah. But we got to build our square, remember? Oh, snap. Uh, green, purple. Uh, right there. That's okay. That's okay. Yellow. We'll just yeah. roll with it. Okay. Yellow trash. <laughs> red. Uh, yeah, just keep going. <laughs> right, on fine. Border, right, fine. Uh, right on the border. Right on the border. Yep, yep. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, what I'm doing? Right on the border. Ah! We're gonna run the border. We have Wait. the reds on the border. Oh, ooh, oh, orange. Ah, oh no, that's bad. Darn it. <laughs> Gosh dang. Uh, we are not doing well. Um, uh, yellow is bad. So overall, we achieved one objective. Oh, we didn't even get two. Oh. Two. No, just one. We, <laughs> we got four industrial on the border. That was it. Um, we didn't even get. We this. actually failed at everything else. Oh, I should have flipped it. Oh, it so, wouldn't have mattered. Oh, awesome. So that's how that works. Um, maybe we're just really bad at it. We're gonna transition now into the the actual. We review. fell square. Actually, is what that was. Hello everyone, welcome back to the table. My name is Liz. My name is Devin. And we are... Board Game. Hi. 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 And we are going to be... We're going to be reviewing 60 Second City. It is a two-player collaborative game by Buffalo Games and Puzzles. Collaborative strategy. Ooh, yes, collaborative strategy. It is ages 10 plus and takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes, unless you board flip. Shh. We're not going to talk about that. We don't board flip with this game, right? Okay, well, 60 Second City is a very unique game in that you literally play a round of 60 seconds, and after that 60 seconds, the round's up, you go reset and do it all again. Yep. So, to set up this game, we have a little bit here. It's just a board with some, like, what do they call those? those Toxic are pollution, pollution tiles. tiles. And then you have these city, of course, I draw two of the same. City <laughs> tiles. Um, and they have these different colors on different them. Different colors, which represent different parts of the city. Um, and so then you've got dice that you use to place the pollution tiles. So you've got a randomization factor. Yeah. And really your goal is you're going to get goal cards. So this game is structured in such a way you get to kind of determine if you are a beginner. Um, Advanced or normal, expert. Standard, difficult, or expert mm. are the words they use. And that determines how many goal cards you get. The goal is to do them within five one-minute rounds. Um, we're experts, by the way. I would say we're maybe beginners. <laughs> um, but very much it's one of those, like you are working together with a partner to achieve this. So it's a ton of communication, a ton of strategy, and you're all under this time limit. So so what you do essentially to start a round is you flip over or you roll the dice. So let's say two and a three. So you're going to take a pollution tile, go to the red two, and then the blue three, and then place it down. You do that three different times. So we'll just go ahead and place five, two, and then two and one. Perfect, just like that. So you're gonna place those pollution tiles, then you're gonna draw five goal cards, and these are gonna be placed right alongside the, um, the board for everyone to see. And then you're gonna 
strategize, which is my favorite part, not her favorite part. Um, I would like to say that I appreciate strategy with the option of flexibility. He appreciates simply strategy. So when he doesn't pick the right thing, he gets a little upset. Oh, I don't get upset. I don't flip the table. Uh, anyways, so what you're going to do is now you have to strategize around these five different cards. And I think it can go higher after each round, right? If you yeah, don't so every them. round you're going to do five, you'll have five goal cards. And the last round you lay out whatever you have left. Yeah. And so what you want to do is, for example, this one says match the pattern. So you actually have to match the pattern yep. with red tiles uh, on the board. And then so you do that same thing. This is a different kind of match the pattern. There's 10 block zones where you have to have 10 blocks of that certain color. And then there's other things like in anywhere on the border or near other tiles right. as well. So it's a really fun, fast paced um, tile laying game. However, there's that real time element, which for me, spoiler alert, I don't like real time very much. And I didn't really know that until I found this game. So yeah, you hate it, actually. I oh, literally... I don't hate anything. I don't hate anyone. This is not a one out of five, okay? It's not. It's not a one out of five. So after you play the round, then you're going to score the round. So you're going to see how many of these cards you actually have done. Take the cards out that you have completed and then refresh. Take all of the tiles out of the board and reset again. Yeah. Do it all over again. I mean, that's pretty much the whole game. Yeah. The way you like win this game, it's not really like a win or lose. Like it's a win or lose kind of thing where you have to like match a certain threshold. What, what are right. these like? So essentially, um, if you have one to two goal cards incomplete, you're considered like a master builder. Master builder. If you have five to, or three to four goal cards incomplete, you're adequate at urban planning. So you're an <laughs> adequate urban planning undergrad, but stick to the books. And then if you have five or more goal cards incomplete, you are still cutting your teeth as an apprentice. So very much um yeah it's it's windy. cheeky you know yeah it's, it's just like, very cheeky ooh, cool um so yeah that is 60 second city i think we're now on to the review portion of it i think so why don't you start us off here i would love to so a little bit about our reviews if you are newer to the channel so we rate on a scale of one to five five being absolutely amazing hyped up wonderful like we love it forever um four being really really good pretty solid um three being like Oh, it's pretty an average good. Game. Like it's an average game. Um, two is kind of like yeah. Um, one means not for us. Fell square. So we rate on that scale. We rate five categories, and we talk about if it plays well with two players. So the first category that we rate is components and accessibility. That is what you see here. Everything uh, from the cards to the tokens to the actual board and the box. Uh, for me, I gave this a two because it's like for me the tiles are amazing. The board is really cool. The cards are all really flimsy and like all just too thin of paper. It's like art paper or something like that, which I don't like very much at all. Uh, and then, I mean, the dice, they're fine. They're just normal dice, right? So the these tiles are kind of cool, I guess, but we'll go with the graphic design for that. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so I rated it a three out of five. I think it's, I mean, it's solid. It's as expected. You know, like this wasn't a crazy expensive game. So I did mm. not have a I guess, super yeah, high you, threshold. I didn't know like, the, the price point that you This was a less than twenty dollar game. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of puts so, a little change on yeah. it. Yeah. So I'll, you do I'll go have three. like a real wooden board. You have real wooden tiles. So I'm not surprised. I would say yeah. the cards are like you're not getting a linen finished card here. Um, but do they portray the information you need in order to play the game? Yes. Which is that the goal of a card? Yes. True. So, okay, you convinced me. It's a three. All right. Okay. Uh, go on to the next one. Alrighty, next one is going to be theme and story. Um, this one I actually rated a two. Um, <laughs> okay. Jeez. So I think this one, the story is there in the text. They do a really good job of like driving the story home mm -hmm. in the text. But I feel like when you are actually physically playing the game, it feels much more chaotic than it feels like building. Like I kind of yeah. think, of, think of it like if you try to build Legos with a toddler versus worth it versus like a twelve year old, <laughs> like the toddler is just like blah, and the twelve year old's like this piece goes in this place yeah. to make this. Well, this is more of like an abstract strategy, right? Like there there is a theme, but like there's no flavor text for the theme. There's no right, like the th really the only flavor text is in the instructions, which well, is why it was a two and even then it, it's an objective. It doesn't start with flavor. Yeah. Really. So okay, that. I actually put it at a three because I thought it was about average. I did think that the theme 
conveyed itself pretty well. We are building a city. Mm -hmm. However, the, the tile aspect of it didn't make me feel like I was really building a city. Yeah. I was just laying tiles to go forward. So I gave it a three, just an okay. average game. Okay, how about artwork and graphic design? Uh, another three for me. I think it sheds the line of, you know, it's okay. It's nothing crazy, nothing super bad. Uh, I do think this, um, the cards themselves are actually illustrated really nicely so you can read them very well. So like the graphic design, it may not be like the most professional, um, but it's honestly, it works, does the job and yeah. Yeah, I also rated it a three. I think it's solid. Um, I love that in the design of the cards, it is easy to reference as you are within the 60 seconds and you're trying to remember what's going on and you're trying to strategize and everything else, so. As you put it look at one. Okay, um, <laughs> next we go on to gameplay and mechanisms and this is where two again for me. I goes back to the real time. I don't like that constant panic pressure of, oh my gosh, I need to do this thing now. Uh, so I gave it a two simply for that. I do think, like, I love tile laying. So like, I gave it a little bit of that leeway. That is why but I bought you the game. Yeah, but the real time aspect is too much for me to bear. So I, I gave it a two. Okay, yeah, so I gave it a three. Um, I thought it was solid. It's not a game that I will like fight to well, get it is to wood, the table. So um, it is pretty solid. Thank you for that, darling. Um, no, definitely not a game I'm gonna fight to get to the table, but I think it's a fun, different kind of game. It's like very I think different, yeah. a lot of people are like, oh, board game, and they think this huge footprint, they think all of these things, which like I do too. Monopoly. So this very much like <laughs> Yeah, it, it changes it your view. It challenges life. your perceptions <clears throat> of what a board game is, which right. I like. Well, in a two-player collaborative strategy. That's why I had to buy it. It was just so was many like, weird so, words put together. It's <laughs> so unique. But uh, so that was, what would you say? Um, So I said a three. So now experience and feelings. That is that is how you felt when playing the game overall. I'm sure you could guess. Two, again, for me. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the game. You know, overall, I wouldn't be like, oh, this was fun. Which is kind of weird though, because the first game we played, it was pretty fun. It was. The second game we played was not fun not at all. Fun. And I think there was a time difference too when we played them, so I'm wondering if that might be a yeah. thing. Yeah. But was, even then, it was like, mm, it just wasn't that fun for me. Yeah, so I rated it a three. Um, you know, there were definitely times I was frustrated, but also like, it is really rewarding to complete one of those goal cards within the minute. So yeah. it's, very much like give and take. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, so overall. Overall rated a three. I actually had a 2.5, um, which we're going to round up to be a three, I believe. Yep. So that is going to be, I think, on the bare bones of the liked it. Yep. So 2.5 okay. to three is the start of our liked it category. Yeah. And then obviously this one does play well at two players. We yeah, didn't talk yeah, about yeah. that, but it's built specifically for two players. So. Well, that's because... Yeah, that's true. We didn't talk about that. Wow. Okay. It's, okay. It, it's for two Why players. I mean, <laughs> we're not really good alone. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of falls uh, in the liked it category. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Um, my final thoughts, definitely. Would I run out to the store and buy it? Did I get this in a buy two games, mm. get one game free? Yes. Heck of a deal. So like heck of a deal. Um, mm. In that case, absolutely fun. I think it's a game that you could play with kiddos too. Like if your age is 10 plus, so if you've got like 10, 12 year olds, might Heck be great. Deal. Sorry. Oh. Continue, proceed to the root. Okay. Um, so, like I said, <laughs> might be great if you've got older kiddos, could be more of like a family competition game, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but just maybe not not like a relaxing game I would choose to play all yeah. the time. Yeah, I think it reflects everything we talked about. The two-player collaborative is something unique and cool, and I'm glad we tried it. But overall, it's I've played better games than this. So. Yeah. So I am Devin. And I'm Liz. This has been Board Game Hype Review of 60 Second City. And now we have roughly 60 seconds to get out of here. <laughs>